Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today, I'll be reviewing The Tomorrow War. So The Tomorrow War is a new action movie premiering on Amazon Prime, and it stars Chris Pratt as a war veteran and scientist who ends up getting forced to travel 30 years into the future to fight to protect the Earth who's being invaded by aliens. And I have to say, right off the bat, the premise of this movie is a little ridiculous, but at times I think it works. They're able to use the idea of time travel in a way that doesn't feel too gimmicky, because in a lot of movies, they try to over-explain what's happening, or they don't explain it at all, and it gives the audience the opportunity to kind of pick it apart. I think this movie got ahead of that fairly early on because they fixed some of the loopholes that you would see in someone traveling forward and backward in the timeline. Not to give too many spoilers away, I think it's definitely a movie I would recommend checking out, 4th of July weekend. It's like a big, fun, summer blockbuster movie. And that's one of the reasons why I think I enjoyed it more than maybe some people did, because I haven't seen a movie like this in a while. I had Black Widow, which I also really enjoyed, but it's been a long time for me since I've seen just a big, fun popcorn flick like this to kick off the summer. So as far as the performances go, I think that Chris Pratt is pretty solid. He always brings this charisma and likability to his characters, and this movie's definitely not an exception to that. He does have some emotional moments as well in this one, because... There's a relationship going back and forth with his daughter, traveling forward and backward. Like I said, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but I think that relationship really builds onto the character and makes you care more about what's happening to him. The action in the movie is really intense. It does get really stupid and kind of crazy about the second and third act of the film, but I think the CGI, as far as it goes, look pretty decent. The characters are very menacing. They almost remind me something of the first Hellboy movie, the main monster in that film. It's got a lot of tentacles flying around. It's just very unsettling to deal with. There's this mother one that's kind of like the queen alien from Aliens. There's a lot of machine guns. There's a big action like that kind of movie. When it goes forward into the future, you see this futuristic kind of oil rig where the jump link is located. And there's all these big things happening there. Explosions and just in your face stuff. It gets a little messy at times. So it is, like I said, it gets a little silly. But I think it looks pretty good. And for a big action movie, I thought it was pretty fun. So the biggest issue I actually have with this movie is the pacing and the story structure in general. So the movie really gets itself going the first act. We're setting the premise. We actually set up some characters, some comedic relief that's going on in that one. Second act has all this rising action. It kind of leads to this climax. And you think the movie's going to end at a certain point. There's some really impactful emotional moments that they should have capitalized on. But it doesn't really let up. And then it reaches this climax... And then in, we have this very short amount of falling action, and then it reaches another climax again. So I feel like that last third act almost felt tacked on. It felt like we added 30 or 40 minutes of story that maybe didn't need to be there. And it kind of takes away from the punch of the second act, some of the really emotional moments. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like the movie overstayed its welcome just a little bit. Not that the movie was ever slow or boring, it's just the pacing of it makes it feel a little uneven, especially the sort of latter half of the film. So if I were to review The Tomorrow War, I will give the movie a 7 out of 10. Better than I expected it to be. With a lot of these movies, these big action movies that come out, I expect them to be just kind of silly, disposable, throwaway. I did enjoy this one. It's something that maybe I would check back in the future. Having it be on Amazon is really nice. Everyone's able to screen it that has Amazon Prime. But like I said, the thing that keeps it from being a really, you know, exceptional movie, in my opinion, is the pacing, kind of the plot structure of the movie. It doesn't feel very even, and it definitely overstates its welcome. I think if they would have tightened it up into like a really solid hour 45, maybe two hours, it could have been a much better movie. It just feels like they're trying to throw everything into it. And they just extended it just a little longer than it needed to be. So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you saw The Tomorrow War, let me know what you think about it. How does it rank for you as far as the Chris Pratt action movies that we've gotten? It's definitely not up there with Guardians for me, but it's definitely a solid outing for him. So again, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.